What's up, guys? I hope you're well. Today, we're checking out Still Game, Series 2, Episode 2, Woman. You know, I gotta have a nice beer with these boys, right? Today, I am having a nice blonde ale from a local brewery from me. Let's get into it, shall we? Mina! Mina! What's keeping you? Oh, was that what it was? I thought you had a dead rat in the shop. <laughs> That's one way to start out the episode, huh? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Isa, I thought you'd gone. I'm just finishing my article. Oh, your article? In my magazine? I've only got a wee bit to go. Oh, it's marvellous. It's all about benefit cheats. It's costing the government millions. Because the cheats would say, oh, it's only a wee bit. What does it matter? But the Perfect. government says it all adds up and it's the wasters that are doing a nice, honest folk out of their rightful entitlement. It's a dilemma. Mm -hmm. Would you spill the beans on your neighbour? That's a headline. <laughs> and you, a grass. Aye, well, I think the whole of Craig Lang knows the answer to that one. Yes, you are. Now go home so I can go home. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Mina, I'm turning the lights off. Get your ass wiped and come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Sorry, Paul, was shot. All right, yeah. Bert? Aye. Come on in. Mm. Sorry, Bert, I didn't recognize you. No offense, but I thought you were a JK, do you know? <laughs> so is it eggs? I don't know, Bert, is it eggs? <laughs> Aye, I think it is. Eggs. Give me six eggs. So, how are you now, Bert? Just six. Without the, uh, you know, after the, uh... Not that good. You know, you're actually the first person I've spoken to and I don't know how long. Christ. No chance of that happening to me in here with her gabbing away all day. <laughs> gab, gab, gab all day. Do you know the wife? Thanks. Finally! <laughs> That's funnier than hell. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's Sant and Dick. <laughs> <laughs> See, that would be hilarious if we had any bloody idea who you were on about. What is Ant and Dick, eh? A couple of arseholes, no doubt, because that's your pattern, isn't it, eh? Here comes some arsehole double act. What were we Monday, Jack? Fran and Anna, that's what it was. Mm. You can't just pluck a couple of celebrity names out of nowhere, Bobby, and expect that to pass as patter. Uh, it's like I was coming in here, right, and saying to you, can we have two pints, please, Parkinson? You see, Bobby, we wouldn't do that. Cos neither me or my friend, unlike your good self, is a prick. <laughs> <laughs> now, all this chat, and I do believe I'm speaking for both of us, has made us very, very thirsty. Two pints, prick. <laughs> my boys. <laughs> Jump, Eric. Boys. I'm going to I'm tired of burning that bastard. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sets you up just nice for the paint. Right, just that, yeah. I have noticed that about Bobby, though. He always calls them double acts. It's really freaking hilarious. Bobby, can you have a pint of lager, please, son, when you've got a minute? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Right, hop along. What's the story? Aye, what's the stick about? About 40 quid a week. Really? <laughs> An extra 40 quid. And get this, I've got a home help day. Oh, you jammy bastard. Since when? Beginning of the week there. So there's hee-haw rang with an E? No. <coughs> you see, the stick's purely for cosmetic reasons. A prop, if you will. As long as the knee is bad, everything slick is bastard. good. Slick <laughs> bastard. You're a fly slick. bastard. You'll get busted. Ah, I mean, give yourself peace. Did your last slave die, eh? Fractured skull. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I don't know how you sleep at night. Well, I sleep on this side because it's too sore to sleep on this side. <laughs> See you night, boys. 
Okay. Good Parkinson. Start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, Jack. It's not like us to be at this late, eh? No. No, it is not. We better go up the road before our night crawlers come out, eh? Aye. Is it half past yeah. nine? Hello, him, eh, Winston? Off. <laughs> Home help, eh? If he fell in the Clyde, he'd come out with a salmon in his mouth. Yeah, but listen, 40 quid and tap your pension, that's no bad, that. I couldn't be doing with a home help, you know, some stranger poke nosing through your stuff, you know. Here, do you mind Rita Watson and her home help, eh? Said she'd go to the bank for her. Never put a penny in. <laughs> Not Rita's account, anyway. Robbed her blind. One yeah. bad apple. It's a good service. Aye, for them that need it, Jack. Eh? Here. Are you telling me you wouldn't like a big darling floating about that house of yours, eh? Dusting, hoovering, getting in your messages, eh? <laughs> now, do anything else for you, Mr. Jarvis? Yes, darling, you could give this a wee tug. <laughs> 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 I'm listen to you, my big darling. Shall I Holy be crap! A big, pug ugly Russian shot putter. We wee tug, by Christ. <laughs> She'll rip it off you and sling it out the window. <laughs> I'm not putting up with any of your shit. Buff, wrap it. Ah, down you go, windy day. <laughs> is that Bert Finlay? Jesus, it is, isn't it? All right, give him a shout. Bert! 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 That's a bloody sin, that, isn't it? I mean, you know what it's like to lose your wife, sir. No. Here, we should take a wee run up and see him tomorrow, you know? Make sure he's all squared up. Uh, I will do that. Damn, that sucks. That's kind of sad. See, for a man that doesn't get about too well, you managed to make some mess at this house, Mr. Ingram. Please now, darling. Winston. <laughs> Never mind the darling, Pat. I'll lift your feet. Oh, will you do us a wee bit of toasted cheese, sweetheart? Indeed I will not. I'll do you another cup of tea. I'm your home help, for God's sake. I'm not your personal flunky. Ah. Oh, sweetheart. Mm, That's smashing that, him. eh? Me a cripple, too. <laughs> Can't walk the length of myself. Don't give us it. That bloody lug of yours should be better by now, anyway. You're at it. And if I find out you're at it, that'll be it. I'll be off the register. No, but see, when you're my age, the leg takes longer to heal. Why don't you sit down here next to me, darling, and give my knee a wee rub? I think I don't hear this all the time. Some randy old pensioner trying it on. Read my lips. Never in a million years. Mm. Get a grip of yourself. Looks like I'm going to have to. <laughs> Cow. I would get that, you know, but my legs are... But... Right. Right! I never be asked. Holy moly! <laughs> my wife. Sweet dreams! And you are, darling? Mrs. Begg, home help. Oh, Mrs. I. Oh, I'll be a lucky fella. <laughs> uh, we're Winston's pals. Can we see him? Come in. Not very short parish, her, is she? Did she is not, Jack. No. She's a honey. She's not even that attractive. <laughs> Lonely old men. Oh, it's used to. What can I do for you? Uh, uh, we're going up to visit uh, <clears throat> Bert Finlay. I was wondering if you wanted to, uh, to come, up, come up with us. Oh, I don't know if I could go visiting with my knee this bad. Mm -hmm. Right, that's me. Uh, when will I see you again, dear heart? Unfortunately for me, Wednesday. Oh, allow me head. Hey, hey, no, 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 allow me. I'll see you out if I can just manage up. Don't bother. Can you bring me back a pack of snowballs? Drop dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you make of her? Oh, aye, aye, she's nice, aye. She doesn't seem like keen on you, but does she? Oh. Well, I mean, drop dead. Hardly the big come on, is it? <laughs> yeah. Nonsense. She'll be another notch in the Ingram bedpost. <laughs> oh. Got my bag. Say goodbye then. Say goodbye. 
Hello, Mrs. Bay. Oh, for God's sake. Didn't he mean to give you a start there? Aye, sir, isn't it? Is that you collecting all Mrs. Kennedy's pension for the... Um, yes, I said it is. That's quite something. How are you able to read that? Oh, I've always been good at upside doing reading. Uh, <laughs> an incapacity rate and all. <laughs> Very good. Nice to get a wee bit extra. Yes, I suppose so. Well, I'll be on my way. Oh, it's nice to see you. Here, how's she keeping? <laughs> Mrs. Kennedy. Oh, picking up now. You must be half a busy. Yes, really too busy. Anyway, Isa, I'll be getting off. How many is that you do now? Uh, altogether four. Four, eh? Aye, because you've got Mrs Kennedy. You've got Seda Jackson, I know that, because I've seen you in her land. And, and you've got Jimmy Gibson, because I saw you come out the chemist with a book's eye patches now. The only man I know around here that wears an eye patch is Jimmy. So that's Jimmy, isn't it? Yes, that's Aye. right, it's Jimmy Gibson. So that's, say, that's three. That's only the one I don't know. Uh, well, you Jeez. probably wouldn't know him. He lives the other side of the scheme. Winston Ingram. Winston Ingram? He has a bad leg. Since when? <laughs> oh, here. There's your patient right enough. Aye, he certainly would appear to have a bad leg. Stick and yep. a lump. <laughs> Winston, for God's sake, we're in the middle of nowhere. Why are you carrying on with that limping act? Oh, could dear, be watching. Dear. Because it doesn't matter where you are. Somebody could be watching you. Pish. Who'd be interested? Some wee snivelling bastard with a social security with a camera. Mm. Oh, I'll nip Mr Ingram in the bud. Click, click. No, no. Yeah. I'll stick with my limp, thank you. You look like a clown. No, I don't. I look like an old man with a limp. An old limping clown, then. <laughs> you want to decide what legs sore? You've changed down about two or three times since we come here. <laughs> Uh, how you doing, Eric? Hello, Jack. What are you guys after? Up to see old Bert Finley. Old Bert, eh? That's a sin. Can't it be easy adjusting to life in your aim? Aye, aye. We caught sight of him last night, Eric. He's not looking too clever. And we're going to go up to see him, you know? Make sure he's no wanting for anything. Show a bit of support. Be there for him, you know? What are you off to? Bookies. <laughs> Please. Captain 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 Jack, Victor. Thought we'd uh, pay you a wee visit. See how you're getting on, you know. What's the matter with your horn? I burnt it in that bloody cooker. Mm. He's having a hard time, uh. Jeez, <sighs> oh. You've let things slide in here, have you know? It looks like my house. I have. You want a cup of tea? Aye, aye. No, you, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, what's that smell? My toast. What did that used to be? Yeah, oh, my, my eggs. I forgot to turn them off. Where'd you take your tea, Bert? Milk and, uh... Sugar? I don't know. And he used to make my tea. Oh, man. Poor guy's so lost without his wife. That sucks. What if I worried about you, Bert? Oh, I miss her, Jack. I miss her badly. I know. We both know. We've been through it. Yeah. It's a long road, but you'll get to the end yet. I just don't see that there's much point. Can't even boil an egg. You'll pick all that up. You're gonna have to start looking after yourself, Bert. Get the bull by the horns. You have to remember, you don't have to deal with this in your Todd. I'm sure Victor wouldn't mind me telling you this, but well, he was in a hell of a state when his Betty died. He thought he was going round a twist. But we pulled him back. Me and Winston, we got him back, and that's what we're gonna do with you. We'll get you back. Got myself in the right mess here, Jack. Not at all. Now, you could sit there 
and watch us doing all the cleaning, but that's not going to help you. You're going to have to do it yourself. You're going to have to get your house in order, mm -hmm. eh? Right, let's see what's what. Merty boy. Give that wee taste. No. Okay. What about that? Hi. Hi. Freeman, two <laughs> well, there sugars. you go. Do we know you take two sugars in your tea? There you go. That's a start. Good guys, man. Jack and Victor rock. Did you enjoy your role? Enjoy it, please. It was adequate, my dear. God, she was kind of a bitch. We'll back a couple of days to see how you're getting on. They're going to clean up, eh? Aye. Aye. You'll be uh, all right with lifting and that. Aye. Uh, uh, you couldn't have... Uh, uh, there's a pot under the bed. It's heavy. Heavy? How was in it? What's in it? A pot under the bed. A plant, you clown. <laughs> piss? <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, you didn't piss in a pot. You've got a perfectly good larvae there. That was Annie's space. She had all her face creams and all her varnishes and all her scents all laid out in there. I don't go in there. I just can't. Oh, nice here, I've got it. It's closer to you, Jack. You grab it. Your ass. It's a lot closer to you, then. Do you know that? Get it lifted out. Bloody <laughs> big pot of pish under the bed. <laughs> Shut up and get it lifted out. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're not very bloody do this. Oh, for God's sake. Wow. That's gross. What are you doing? How are you doing? Drop. Ah. Release. <laughs> you got the short <laughs> right <of> stick. <laughs> no. Hey. I'm not doing it. We drew pencils. Ah, stupid pencils. Here's some peace. I'm sorry, Victor. I'm not lifting any pish. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Oh. oh no. Jesus. It's all cloudy. Can't even see the bottom. Oh. Oh no. Oh, that's heavy. Hey. 
Well, you could have used some of that scent to cover the stench of piss. <laughs> Forty-five. Ooh, terrible. <laughs> Better get on, matey. That was Vincent running by there. He was like about out of hell. The speed he was gone. There's only one place he's gone at that speed. The bookies. I don't know where he gets all the bloody money. Buddy can get it sugar core. That was ah, a... right. She says gambling's a terrible, you know. <laughs> ah, you're right there, Mina. His leg must be all better now, I know, eh? And he's stuck with him. Scotch corner, ladies and gentlemen, from now it's Scotch corner! Ha ha ha! You beauty! Look at you, sir. Oh, your face is like fish. Who did you have on, Eric? Calypso Jet. Wanker! I told you to call the money on Scotch Corner, but you would not listen. Ah, well, get it right up the lotties. Scotch Corner, Scotch Corner, Scotch Corner. Scotch Corner, Scotch Corner, Scotch Corner. Scotch Corner, Scotch Corner, Scotch Corner. Scotch Corner. Hello, Mr. Ingram. Drop. Oh, my knee! Um, where's my stick? Where did I put it? You didn't come in here with a stick. Yeah, oh, yes, I did. Where is my stick? Where? Ah, here it is. <laughs> Here's my stick, ya prick. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Winston just lost that forty dollars and then some. <laughs> All right. All right. Hmm. Wait, oh. I smash him. Well, if you're uh, sure you're up to it, aye, Klansman. I don't know, say half an hour. Mm. Klansman. Right, oh. Some Scotch bags, whiskey well. right there, baby. Yeah. You see, Bell. Aye. Wants to go for a pint. Seemed quite perky, did he? Mm. Nice. That wee pep talk you did must have done the trick, eh? Well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh you smell better. <laughs> uh, I have a bloody bath. <clears throat> oh, here. Do you want me to get a pot in case he's needing the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> No, there wasn't any answer. What do you make of that? Marcus probably thought better of it and just gone to his bed. Uh, do you think? Aye. I'm not so sure, Victor. You'll be fine, Jack. Fancy another pint? No, well, just split bits. Not at all, that's flat. I'll get two fresh ones. You gotta be frickin' kidding me twice in one day. After winning and dancing in front of Ronnie and all. Next thing I'm on my knees in the bookies, you know, begging her not to grasp me up to the social. She stuck me in, but oh, that's poor. I said you do that. Yeah, I kind of you were warned, right? Oh aye. By used to. The white knights of righteousness. You'll mm -hmm. get busted. Yeah. So how are you getting on without her? Right. <laughs> Dandy. That's that been a week now. You want to see the state of my house. <laughs> Where are you gone? Eh, uh, up to see old Bert. He was supposed to come out with us for a pint last night, but he was a no show. We were worried about Aye. him, you know. Well, I'll come with you. Aye, all right. Well. What I'm saying is, we asked him out for a pint. He said he'd come, then he doesn't show. It's odd. It's no odd. He just blew his out. You know what he's been like? Yeah. <laughs> That's no good. Jeez, it's going to give him in a minute. Let him get his arse out the seat. Hi, what are you going to do? You're going to shoulder it in? Hi, put it away. Get it! <laughs> right again. Oh, Bert. Oh, razor in the horn. Just in time. Just in time for what? To watch him shave? Lads, Winston, what can I do for you? Uh, we were a wee bit worried about you, Bert, when you didn't show for a pint last night. I've been busy tidying things up. So you're all right then? I'm fine. Brought you a pack of biscuits. Yo yo's. Yeah, Thanks. Uh, is, is that it then, lads? Well, I suppose if you're all right, aye. Bert, 
If you don't mind, could we come in for a minute just to see for ourselves? There you go. Close call. Really get pumped to a packet of yo yo's there. <laughs> Oof. Wow. Look at this place. This is smashing, Bear. What a difference. Yeah, he did Aye, it. It's an air job you've done. Yes, everything's in order now. Mm -hmm. Organised. Any chance of a cup of tea? Here, you can keep these, Victor. Hey? I'll no be needing them. Uh, what? This is textbook stuff. What? Yeah. He's going to do his sell in. In the name of Christ, have you worked that out? It's blatantly obvious, isn't it? I'm afraid about it. First, what they do is they tidy up, then they get their house in order, and then they do their sales in. You told them to tidy up. I know, but there's tidying up and tidying up, isn't there? I mean, it's like a bloody showroom in here. What was it he said? Everything's organised. And he's stunning her with a razor in his horn, and he doesn't want us to come in. I'll tell you another thing they do and all. They give things away. The yo yo's. He said he wouldn't be needing them. Well, that's maybe because he doesn't like the mint ones, he only likes the toffee ones. Yeah. What? <laughs> There's water running out there. That's what he must have been doing before he came to the door. He's going to jump into a warm bath, tan his wrists. Good night, Vienna. Mm. What's going on, lads? Is there uh, water running in that bath, Bert? No. I think there is, Bert. <laughs> no, there isn't. Well, let's just see, shall we? Lads, don't go in there, lads. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Is that you in to scrub my back? I've been waiting on you. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> Oh my god, you sly bastard! Sorry about all that, Bert. You must admit, it did look as if you were going to do yourself in. I don't see how. Wow. Because the was tidy. Well, you did give me back the biscuits, Bert. I don't like the mint ones. Only like the toffee ones. Thank you, no apology necessary. <laughs> well, we get off. And by the way, well done. <laughs> yeah, well done Aye. indeed. Good for you, Bertie boy. All right, lads. Oh, Mrs. Begg, I think my knee's playing up again. I'm going to have to phone and register for a home help, if that's all right. Fine. <laughs> wow. Yeah, she knows she is uh, busted. Mrs. Begg, Mrs. Begg, turn that off a minute. Listen to this. <coughs> This is the ballad of Mrs. Begg, who doubted Winston's dodgy leg. Now she waits on me round the clock, because she got fond of old Bert's cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what a gem. That was great. Yeah, that lady was a bitch. I can't believe Bert freaking knocked boots with her. That's Awesome, man. Get it, Bert. Holy crap, man. Another banger episode. <clears throat> the series is just getting better and better as we get further into it. I cannot wait till next Friday. I hope you guys can either. With that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe, and don't forget to wash your cock. Bye.